and welcome to our special live coverage of the Five Power Defence Arrangements, or FPDA for short, 50th Anniversary Fly Pass and Naval Vessel Display. I'm Mr Young. And I'm Joanna Francois. Buckle up and get ready, because in just a short while, we'll be bringing you live footage of the events featuring the air and naval assets from the FPDA members. That's right. The member nations have prepared a naval display and their ships are anchored in the waters of Marina South, just for today's special event. But that's just the action at sea. There's going to be a whole lot happening in our skies as well. That's right. And that's when Singapore Defence Minister Dr Ng Ying Hen and the High Commissioners of the FPDA member nations in Singapore will gather on the green roof of the Marina Barrage to view the fly pass and naval vessel display. And well, the 50th anniversary of the FPDA, it is a special occasion indeed. And if you're wondering what these defence arrangements among Australia, Malaysia, New Zealand, Singapore and the UK are all about, well, we've got just the thing for you. Yep, here's a quick look at the what's, why's, when's and how's of the FPDA, which was formed in 1971. On 1st November 1971, the Five Power Defence Arrangements, or FPDA, was set up by Australia, Malaysia, New Zealand, Singapore and the United Kingdom to provide external defence for Malaysia and Singapore when Britain withdrew its military forces east of Suez. The five nations pledged to consult one another on the measures to be taken if Malaysia or Singapore faced armed aggression. On 1st September 1971, Headquarters Integrated Air Defence System, or HQIADS, was formed in Butterworth, Malaysia to establish and develop air defence for the region. Over the years, the FPDA enhanced its air defence exercise program, providing professional value and building capabilities among the member militaries. In 2000, HQIADS was renamed to Headquarters Integrated Area Defence System. This reflected the shift in focus from conventional air defence exercises to combined and joint exercises to meet the evolving security challenges. Fifty years on, the FPDA continues to develop its exercises and activities. These exercises further enhance its capacity in conventional operations build capacity in non-conventional areas including counter-terrorism, humanitarian assistance and disaster relief, and maritime security, and strengthen cooperation and relationships among the FPDA militaries. Okay, I hope that bit of history answered some of the questions you may have had about the FPDA. Well, it certainly got me pumped and looking forward to that fly past. I'm hearing they'll be flying in in just a few more minutes. And while waiting for that, let us take a look right now at the four-ship naval vessel display on the waters off Marina South. In the front row is Singapore's RSS Steadfast, representing the Republic of Singapore Navy she is a formidable class frigate and is capable of dealing with multi-dimensional threats from the air, the surface and underwater. The KD Lekiu comes from the Royal Malaysian Navy. The Lekiu class of frigates is capable of carrying a Super Lynx helicopter and is named after the respected Malay warrior Hang Lekiu. The HMAS Canberra from Australia. This flagship from the Royal Australian Navy has a landing helicopter deck capable of carrying up to 18 helicopters in its onboard hangar. And lastly, we have the Royal New Zealand Navy's HMNZS Aotearoa. By the way, Aotearoa, did you know, is the Maori name for New Zealand, commonly translated as the land of the long white clouds. 
Now, you may be wondering why there are only four vessels anchored here today. Unfortunately, that's because the United Kingdom's HMS Diamond is unable to participate in today's display. Prior to today, the destroyer had been participating in Exercise Bersama Gold with other FPDA partners, taking part in various drills and serials, and she is currently experiencing some technical issues. What a show of commitment it is, isn't it? Absolutely, to bring together these naval vessels here today. But today's events, they're just getting started. That's right. Kicking off the fly past are six fighter jets from the Republic of Singapore Air Force, flying in Delta formation at 1,000 feet. Formed by three F-16s in the lead and three F-15 SGs in the trail, the Delta formation requires the aircraft to fly in very close proximity. No surprise, this formation signifies the close defence relationship among our FPDA member nations over the past 50 years. Our guests of honour are here. Um, among them, Defence Minister Dr Ng Eng Hen, Chief of Defence Force Lieutenant General Melvin Ong and Permanent Secretary of Defence Mr Chan Heng Ki here, mm -hmm. of course, yeah. gracing us. Representatives from our five member nations of the five power defence arrangements this, of course, the 50th anniversary fly pass and naval display. Mm -hmm. Australia, Malaysia, New Zealand, Singapore and the UK are represented. We are mere moments away from the very first fly pass. Yes. As we see our guests uh, eagerly anticipating the moment, <laughs> as we are as well, Joanna. <laughs> wow. Next up, 10 aircraft consisting of fighters, helicopters and a maritime patrol aircraft coming together to bring us the combined fly pass. The combined formation features a fixed wing formation led by Singapore's F-15SG. On the far side are two Australian FA-18s. On the near side are two Malaysian SU-30s. And at the base of the formation is a Singapore F-16. And finally, rounding up the fixed wing formation is the P-3K2 Orion Maritime Patrol aircraft from New Zealand. Joining them, three helicopters are flying past in trail at 500 feet. We have two Singapore S-70B Seahawks and New Zealand's SH-2GI Sea Sprite. The combined formation fly past is a testament to the unity and interoperability among the FPDA member nations. Wave your hands and say hello, everybody! Hopefully you got to uh, get a good look at the aircraft on display right now. Yes, I did actually. It was you know, so much to take in as well. So, you know, Joanna, on that note, talking about combined efforts, uh -huh. we know that the FPDA was formed 50 years ago, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Before you were even born. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. I mean, there's been so many changes over the years for training to keep up with. That's right. And over the decades, the five member nations of the FPDA have embraced the spirit of cooperation to adapt and develop their defences through various exercises, many of which are still ongoing today. Now, here's a look at them. Over the last five decades, the Five Power Defence Arrangements, or FPDA, has held military exercises on a regular basis every year. Ongoing key exercises include Exercise Suman Warrior, Exercise Bersama Lima, Exercise Bersama Shield, and exercise Suman Protector. These exercises allow member nations to build their conventional capabilities, strengthen cooperation, and exchange professional knowledge in areas of mutual interest. The FPDA continues to enhance its capacity in non-conventional areas, such that member nations can respond to an increasingly complex and evolving security environment. Wow, that was so inspiring to see. Talking about the third and final fly pass that we are about to see, it will consist of six RSAF fighter jets, 
to commemorate 50 years of the five power defense arrangements, and they will be performing an aerial salute. Wow. And what they did there was a split maneuver. Yes, exactly. As it were. Uh, yeah. Three F 15 SGs flying through with full afterburners, mm -hmm. bringing us to a close on a resounding note. It is time to wrap up our special coverage of the Fine Power Defense Arrangements 50th Anniversary Fly Past and Naval Vessel Display. That's right. And uh, here is an exclusive look at Exercise Bersama Gold. Enjoy these highlights. Thank you so much for keeping us company at this very special live telecast. I'm Joanna Francois. And I am Mr. Young. We are signing off. Goodbye and stay safe. Exercise with Samago will facilitate the sharing of professional knowledge and experiences and enhance mutual understanding and trust between personnel and the FPDA member nations. I'm heartened to see that despite the COVID-19 situation, FPDA member nations remain very committed to the exercise. Singapore is also glad to play our part by hosting the participating ENZOOK assets.